Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you use of a sequence function, repetition function, all and any. So sequence function, which is actually represent with SQ, it actually used to represent a series of number. So if I'm writing here five, so it will generate a series one, two, three, four, five. So it's a very easy way to generate a number series. Now the thing is that uh, if you want to, to generate a number series from a specific point, so you can write here like starting point and end point. So it will generate a sequence number from 12 to 90 increased by 1. Now if you want to change this, like instead of increasing by 1, we want to increase by 0.1. So what I want to do, I want to start from 1.1 and I want to and it at 2 and increase it by 0.1 so then there will be three parameters in this function starting ending and by what number you want to increase so if you can see here 1.1 1.2 1.3 so this is a very useful function to generate such kind of series the next one is repetition so if you want to repeat a number for a particular number of time let's say I want to repeat four nine times so it will generate a series four 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 nine times so next two are all and any so for that first i'm going to create a vector and in this vector i'm going to take some element so here what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, check whether element uh, element in this vector are less than 20 or not so when I use any so what this will do this condition will be checked against every element of this vector so 20 greater than 12 so in this case true will be returned and in these two cases false will be returned so any this function will return true if there is true in the returned value so if you can see but in case of all it will return true in uh, only if every condition result in true every condition successfully uh, return true so but in our case 20 is not greater than 23 and 23 so in this case false will be returned but instead of this one if I write 80 so every element if you can see every element is smaller than 80 so in that case every uh, element is satisfy this condition so all will return true so these are some useful functions which can be used uh, with vector thank you very much for watching